Yamaha XS650 Heritage Special for sale on eBay. In the paperwork we've got the V5 registration document, two former keepers, but the bike is an imported bike from, I would say, probably the United States. Again, we're looking at the Speedo on there. Um, it's got HPI check certificate that shows the bike's all completely clear. It's got a technical bulletin for the, uh, looks like mainly the engine sort of bits, so sort of parts and part numbers, all that kind of thing. It also has this um, large book here to do with sort of parts there, there's uh, like a part supply with sort of prices and that kind of thing. So a load of history with the bike, there's all these sort of old MOTs and things here, again taxes going back many many years. So there's that. And it's also got a load of waffle from Swansea, or Swansea about statutory off road notices and all that kind of thing. So there's that. Just looking around the bike, um, there's a couple of jobs you've got to do to it. Um, the main one being is the clutch slip on the bike. Um, I don't know whether that's been assembled wrong or whether it's worn or whether the spring has gone weak because we've been there sitting. I don't know, but anyway, you're going to need to look at that. That would be quite a straightforward, simple, cheap job to fix, I would think, at a guess. It also has some oily smell when you start it up. And perhaps some light smoke. Um, it rides well enough. The last owner said he had done something about the oil smoke on the bike, but whatever he did, it hasn't worked, so you might want to do that um, again or have a look at it at least, perhaps. And maybe just run it as it's been sitting for a while and see what it does. Anyway, there's that. Um, this front tyre looks like it's a little worn on there. Um, I would say that would probably pass an MOT at my guess. It's got these nice little additions there. Somebody's fitted these indicator warning lights on one on each side. That's a nice little thing that I've never seen before. Um, mileage is pretty low if that's right. I mean, looking around the bike, it, I wouldn't be surprised to find that was right. But I don't know for sure. You can see the mileage counting up on the old MOT test certificates. It hasn't done very much over the years from year to year. And it's just a close up of the bike, just showing you how sort of clean and how well detailed the bike is. It's a nice, tidy looking thing, really. That shot also showing the wheel rims and that there. So, anyway, if you've got any questions about the bike, do ask and I'll tell you what I know.